I was asked on Facebook recently if I thought supporting antinatalism was pointless, mostly because of how it's viewed in such a negative light, and the fact that not having children goes against old world values that are still deeply ingrained in our society. There are many people that realize that pointless suffering is bad, and as a species we should do what we can to prevent it. Yet still, the majority of people don't feel that having fewer children or no children at all is the right answer. They seem to have hope that some new technology or their political leaders will one day pull their heads out of their collective asses and actually do something to fix the problems in the world instead of profiteering and manipulating the masses. Well, I hate to pop their big balloon of optimism, but that's just not going to happen. As Einstein said, you can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking that created them in the first place. Politics is basically a really bad joke at this point. It's just a clusterfuck of misguided principles and distorted, outdated, old-world values that should have been thrown out a long-ass time ago. So, is antinatalism futile? Absolutely not. The average person has very little power to change the world around them in any significant way or to alter the circumstances from which they were thrown into at birth. But the average person can still stop the suffering in this world by choosing not to reproduce. They don't have to be rich. They don't have to be a politician or a world leader or an aristocrat. All they need to do to stop suffering is to deny the world more victims. You see, they can force us to slave away at our jobs. They can force us to take part in their broken economic system. They can crush our dreams and make our lives empty by wasting it, chasing money. But they can't force us to have children and bring more slaves into the system for them to exploit. Antinatalism is a way for the average person to say that we are not tolerating this bullshit anymore by preventing new victims from coming into this world and experiencing the same suffering, torment, and agony that we experienced in our lives. So yeah, antinatalism isn't pointless. A lot of the resistance we get comes from people's emotional reaction and not necessarily a flaw in the logic itself. I learned that back when I used to promote atheism as a teenager, but I'll talk about that later. For now, thanks for watching and be safe out there. Bye.